Zed and his allies sold everything they've been through so far to Reliza. I can't believe Mizuel would one day seek to destroy the entire universe. Well, believe it. He's caused me and my sister a buttload of suffering. Bubby! Don't be so mean! It's not her fault! Uh, well, yeah, maybe not, but... I'm sorry you two were dragged into this dreadful vortex of reincarnation. Don't worry, we're the Prism Rangers! We'll protect you, and change your fate! You'll see! But even if I survive here and now, it won't change the fact that I died in the dimension you originated from. No matter how hard one tries, the past is immutable. But... Prism Rangers... <laughs> Good argument! However, if my death could somehow be prevented, it may be possible to save this miserable soul. Save my soul? Cerberus! Who exactly are all of you? And why do you want to save my soul? What the hell? Don't you recognize us? How could I? I've never even seen you before. Oh? What is this all about? Okay, I'm gonna talk about something that really annoys me. People knowing that they go to the past and they don't seem to put two and two together. It's like, oh, this must be the, the guy before he met us. And it's getting really annoying for me because I've seen this in the Grand Chase Dimensions game just now, and it's pissed me off then, and it's pissing me off now. I understand. This is the Mizual who has been super reincarnating all alone after losing Reliza. What the hell are you talking about? It means that both Zed's and Mizuel's super reincarnation paths have crossed. Could this be mere coincidence? So you've come here, have you? Damnable slaves of greed and harbingers of death! Mizuel? Are you from a timeline after I perish? Yes. I am. I'm so sorry, Mishua. This is all my fault. No, I'm the one at fault. I couldn't protect you. But this time will be different. This time I will save you. Cerberus kept super reincarnating to save someone important to him just like I did. Me and my rotten brain kept charging forward. He gave up and chose a different path. That idiot! Now I gotta kick his- Oops. You missed the word twice. <laughs> Super encroach. Oh, what- So what are these special things? Here. Uh, enemy Enemies just get stronger. Uh, so win in six turns, our enemies will be four times as strong. That- that shouldn't be difficult. I mean, I- my- my people are already pretty embarrassingly overpowered anyway, so even if they get stronger, I'll probably still wipe the floor with them. I'd rather not test the theory. Hmm. Almost dead! <laughs> So close. No! No! I'm going. No! No, Opus! What do these guys have against cute pink haired girls? Good character. That's a basic attack. I didn't realize how good these characters could be if I actually put in uh, some time to level them up. Maybe their their massive girth is worth uh, dealing with. Demon fist. Demon fist. <laughs> 
Imagine creating a universe just to kill a couple of people. This is where it gets good. No, this is where it ends. Told you. This is surprising. That power of yours is unbelievable. Who or what are you? Me. I'm just a zombie. You are no ordinary zombie. I can sense unfathomable magic power deep within you. C could it be? Are you a Majin? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm just a plain old zombie. No, there's no mistaking it. This ominous aura. You must be the legendary Majin. The one who almost destroyed the entire universe in ancient times. Bubby? A Majin? Th that can't be true, Prince Zed. No. I too am surprised, but given all the research I've done on its DNA, I am absolutely certain. This is quite an unsettling revelation you have laid before us. I too suspected you were no ordinary zombie, but I never imagined you could be a Majin. Uh, Prism Zed's true identity is Prism Majin Zed? No fair! That sounds way cooler! <laughs> I could tell from the start. Bullshit! From the moment we met, Bullshit! I knew you were more than a mere zombie. Bullshit! 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 You really are full of it. Who was the one that kept looking down on me for being just a zombie? All of you, please. You must lend me your strength. With your help, perhaps, we will be able to change fate. Please, you must bring salvation to Mijual's soul. Don't mess with me, damn it! Because of you guys, me and Biko. Come on, Bobby. We gotta help him. <sighs> Bobby, please. Um. After that. Ah, that's quite a tale. So you've also been super reincarnating. Yeah, and it's all because we got caught up in your stupid plan. Whatever it is. I can't believe I sought such a resolution. My apologies. This is all because my heart was... too weak. Huh? Since when did you have manners? <laughs> well, we are talking to Mijual before he fell into despair. He was known to be an upstanding individual. I still kind of want to tear him apart. But I guess this guy isn't the Cerberus we know. So I will say the story has been getting interesting again, at the very least. So Prince Zed's true identity is an ancient Majin who nearly caused the destruction of the universe? What a shocking subversion. I don't know if that's really true, but it's pretty damn suspicious if you ask me. Are you scared? If it's true, I mean. Of course not. You'll always be my prince said, whether you're a zombie or a Majin. I feel as though I struck gold. <laughs> it certainly is a surprise, but we're used to surprises. The only thing that's changed is the wealth of resources at our disposal. I'm not concerned about the ancient Majin if it's you, Zed. You'll wrangle that DNA of yours into submission soon enough. How dare you assume fear on my part! Behind your humble zombie origins is a background of such esteem. I'm so jealous! Prism Overlord is right. Your backstory is getting too cool. This is the stuff that gets three spin-offs in a movie, you know? Prism Majin Zed, ready for a power-up, sets his sights on Super Overlord Ball! He prepares for his long-awaited confrontation at last. No! 
That simply won't do, Zed. I haven't unleashed my true strength yet. You're skipping our battle? You idiots. You're just messing with me again. Bubby won't be okay. We're all on Bubby's side. Now, of course, Biko. As his future bride, it's my duty to support your beloved Bubby in battle. That's right. This Majin business doesn't matter one bit. Regardless of who or what Prince Zed is, it won't change how we all feel about him. We'll always be at his side. So yeah, I guess I genuinely can't wait to see what happens next. Still, we're at like chapter 12. Visual. What happens after this? So the story's gonna be over soon. Unable to fully withstand the demon's attacks, Reliza uses the Majin's DNA on herself to protect the city. Huh? But if she does that, then... Correct. Reliza becomes a god of destruction. You would never hesitate to sacrifice yourself to protect the people. I suppose you're right. After annihilating the demonic forces, Reliza was unable to cease wreaking havoc. In order to stop her, I had no choice but to take her life. I became obsessed with saving her, which led me to develop super reincarnation. However, no matter how many times I super reincarnated, or what I did differently, it always ended the same. In that case, why not destroy the God of Destruction's core? That's how we were able to save Biko. I tried that too, but still I was unable to change Reliza's fate. No matter what I did or how many times I tried, it made no difference. Reliza is destined to die. That's the worst tragedy I've ever heard. We must turn this into a happy ending. Don't you agree, Prince Ed? <laughs> This jerk doesn't deserve a happy ending. Bobby. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'll fight the demons when they show up, all right? All right. Oh no! The demons have arrived! No! I'm detecting multiple high-energy signatures! They're all... Gods of destruction! Okay. These are gods of destruction? This can't be. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Damn it. What the hell's going on here? This may be an unforeseen effect of Zed's super reincarnation path crossing with visuals. <sighs> As the vortex of reincarnation becomes so twisted that it's trying to swallow us whole? Oh, God of fate! Would you truly go this far to prevent us from changing her destiny? You know, I, I've got to say, I, I do love the voice acting from Visual, having gone from incredibly bored pug to this. This is great. Screw this crap! I'll beat this God of fate into the ground too if I have to! Not one, not two, but three! This is becoming old hat at this point. Yeah, one of them can just die. Why not? I mean, this is exactly where I knew this was gonna end up. I wasn't expecting Spyro Blast to uh, kill him, to one shot him. This is, yeah, this is very anticlimactic. Jesus Christ. He's strong against this! He's I, I, I have definitely gone overboard. And yeah. Wait, did I set the difficulty back up to maximum? 
I don't think I did. Fuck. No wonder it's so easy. Bobby, uh, are you okay? Stay back, Biko. Don't come near me. Prince Zed. Hey, you're a super sage, aren't you? Do something. It appears his body has surpassed its limits. He is currently in the process of awakening as a Majin. What? He'll succumb to a nigh uncontrollable urge to destroy. Nothing can be done. As an ancient Majin, it's in his blood. If this continues, he'll fully transform. In other words, he'll become the true god of destruction. Bobby? A god of destruction? This can't be. Hmm. Cerberus most likely knew Zed was the ancient Majin, which is why he pushed him to super reincarnate. His plan was to awaken Zed's Majin blood over the course of his battles, therefore destroying the entire universe. Thereby, his real target was Zed all along. He used Sweet Biko as bait so that Zed would awaken as a Majin. That foul, dastardly swine of a man! No freaking way! I won't let him get what he wants! I'm not gonna turn into some stupid Majin! No way in hell! So I'm gonna set the difficulty back up. Unless I didn't forget to do that. Oh yeah, I fucking forgot to do that. Okay. See you again. Don't know why I'm saving. Where do you wish to go? Well, that explains an ass ton. What's this? Uh, we've already had our fill of gods of destruction. Thank you very much. No kidding. What? How can this be? Oh, cursed god of fate. It seems you wish to take Reliza from me no matter what. If you must take a life, take mine. Enough, Miserable. I've been fated to die from the very beginning. Please, forget about me. You deserve to live a happy life. No, I refuse. How could I possibly live a happy life without you by my side? Oh yes, I completely understand how he feels. It's as if I'm watching my own love story with Prince Zed here. Uh, you, you might want to focus on what's going on, lady. Quit daydreaming, you moron. This ain't the time. Oh, so you really are doing that? <laughs> like hell I am! There's three gods of destruction right fucking there, mate! Eliza, no matter what happens, even if we aren't from the same dimension, I... I know. No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll always love you. Hey! How long are you guys gonna drag this sappy scene out? Don't you dare give up without a fight! If that god of fate is getting in the way, just kill him! Watch and learn! I'll show you how to take fate into your own hands! Five this time. And hey, they're, they're gonna be genuinely challenging, maybe? Oh. Oh dear. There is a distinct chance I may have made a boo-boo. Okay, I can still do this. I've just gotta be... I've just gotta be a little careful about it. Fuck. That'll work, maybe. Mm hmm <laughs> Maybe I should go back. Why did I do that? Ready. 
Okay, the robot's tough. The robot will murder. Oh, good lord. I, I'm hitting one god of destruction with everything I have. Jesus Christ. To unleash my true strength. I've got our power, buddy. There's an accelerator. Be justice. I'll fix this quick. Too. Oh. I might be fucked. No, I'm fine. <laughs> that did almost as much damage as everything else! Holy shit! Okay, so this'll be a genuinely good fight then. I might- I might want to avoid getting too close to the other ones for now. Now, if there's anything I would like in this game... It, in maybe in the future games, but if there's anything that I would like, it would be be being able to see where your allies' attacks are gonna go. Okay. Uh. Okay, Biko. Still not dead. Jesus Christ. I, I need a healer? She has basic healing. Fuck! Not quite what I wanted. D don't know if you could tell. Spyro Blast does more than basic attack. I, did, I didn't want to use Biori because she's fucking horrifying. Where, where the fuck did your damage go? I mean, this wouldn't be the final boss, right? It's, it, if, it seems to me that if the final boss would be anything, it would be something different, at least. Right? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is with Biko? Oh, they're all just coming after me now. Okay. Got it. We're just gonna fucking... Yeah. That does nothing. That does like nothing. Can I... I cannot hit both of them with this. Can I hit both of them with this? No. I can hit more than one though. That That's what I'm aiming for. Just more than one. Mm, there's gotta be something else. That's, I think this would work. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be focusing, the, focusing down the back, the ones in the back. Yeah, this this could be an issue. I think Fiori's just gonna have to win this for everybody. Useful ability that could be on a more useful person, but oh well. Oh yeah, I didn't have her move forward because literally everybody was gonna hit her. I forget these things, you know? Can Zed get up there too? Yeah. Can Zed hit anybody without hitting allies? 
Mm, yes. All right. And Zed's going to do the most damage. So, where did you go? You went here. Take this. Oh, I, I, I killed both of them. That works for me. Okay, that, that makes things significantly easier. And that nicked him. God damn it. Can... Pico, Pico can still hit him, right? With something? Uh, anything different? Yeah. We're, we're gonna see all of Biko's terrifying attacks. <laughs> what the fuck is up with Biko? Honest question. Still too weak. Uh, congrats, you, you hit one person, I guess. What haven't I seen yet? Daydream? Sure, why not? Why is Biko nightmare fuel? <laughs> why is Biko nightmare fuel? I'm so confused. Yeah, just hit it with everything. Just hit it with all of the things. Don't stop till it's dead. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make absolute sure that nothing's gonna hit me. I'm actually now realizing that I lost my archer on the easiest difficulty. Oops. Uh, that almost killed Piori. I'm just happy Piori does didn't attack back to the robot because she was going to do that. Is it over? It seems so. Does this mean... We did it! Fate can be changed! That means I can save La Misera as well! Yeah! If our seven lights all come together as one, nothing is impossible for the Prism Rangers! What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to the girl? <laughs> it would seem a ray of hope has begun to shine. Everybody, upon us. shut the fuck up! You're raising so many flags; it's Thank not even you. funny. All of you. I couldn't have done it alone. What are you going to do from now on? There is already a version of me in this timeline. He will go on to live happily with Reliza. Mishua. Worry not, Reliza. I couldn't be any happier. Knowing that you're alive is enough for me. I, I want to take a guess and say that Cerberus is going to ruin this. My journey has finally come to an end. All that's left for me to do is live out the rest of my days in solitude. Be well, Reliza. I wish you nothing but happiness. Thank you, Mishua. Are you sure this is how you want to leave? I am. There's no need for two visuals in this timeline. If I stayed, it would only complicate things further. <laughs> you big softy. I'm sorry, Zed, but I have one last request of you before I go. <sighs> Alright, I'm listening. What is it? 
I know I don't have any right to ask you this, but I want you to stop the other me. The one who did those awful things. <laughs> if you're talking about that jerk Cerberus, there's no need to ask. I was planning on putting him down anyway. I'm relieved to hear that. Thank you. And farewell. Thanks, Bobby. Why are you thanking me, Vico? Because you helped Serbi. Uh, I didn't really help him. I just thought that fate stuff was stupid. That's all. My prince said, you may not be honest with your feelings, but you did look awfully dashing back there. Whatever. I didn't do it to impress you or anything. Cinder. Ah, uh, Bobby. So you two are getting married. No, we're not. All right, that's enough. Let's super reincarnate so I can send that stupid Cerberus straight to hell. I still love that face. Ah. Ah. Zed, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Zed, if you keep pushing yourself like this, you will become a Majin. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'll finish this way before I gotta worry about that. Let's go! Super reincarnation! <laughs> Cerberus, you really are an idiot. You should have just asked me and Biko for help when you first met us. You're always bottling stuff up inside. You damn moron. To be fair, I'm not sure what you two could have done. Well, I have a feeling that the next one's going to be the last recording that I do. Uh, unless I feel like doing extra stuff, which I, I don't. This is... Disguise 6 has been a bit of a disappointment for me, I'll admit, at this point. It's still good, but there's so many technical issues. They didn't release a version for the PS4. Why? Well, anyways, until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Later. Taste,